Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. Um, wanting to do a video for you guys today on um, on a <clears throat> on a news article that I saw this morning about the longest lived dog. I think he lived to 29 years old. Um, and what I thought was interesting was that they credited the dog's longevity to um, basically living in a peaceful environment. I think they said he had never been on a leash. Um, but more importantly, what I actually think um, is the most important thing is that he was fed. He ate what they ate. And I think that that's uh, really interesting to say because a lot of vets will tell you don't feed your dog table scraps. And to some degree, there's a good reason for that. There are some foods that dogs, um, they can hurt dogs, like onions and um, nightshades, things like that. So that does make sense to some degree. But in a lot of other areas, it doesn't. Um, so like if you were eating, let's say that you were eating, you know, chicken and rice with broccoli or something, right? Like your dog could totally eat that. Um, and... Uh, and anyway, and I, I always hypothesized that that's what early dogs ate. That's why I'm not a, a raw food proponent. I don't I don't push raw feeding because I don't believe that um, raw feeding is actually um, like historically correct for dogs. I don't think that most people that had dogs in the past, even I mean, we're living in one of the most prosperous times. Um, in the history of mankind um, for an individual. And we still don't have the money to just um, feed all of our dogs prime raw meat. Like, that's just not... Nor did people have the big deep freezers that it would take to be able to store the meat. Um, I don't think that it's in any way historically accurate or practical. Come on, you guys. Get back over here now and get off of each other. Let's go. Um, anyway, and I think that that dog really shows that. I think that he is living proof, um, that, you know, that now I will, this is, this is the only caveat that I will say to that is that a lot of the food that is available now isn't really food. Um, you know, chicken sometimes ain't even chicken. So there is that to consider, you know what I mean? Um, it needs to be actually real food first of all hey vienna cut it out it's good you got on somebody got on to you yeah good girl ibiza you get her bz get her girl you get her teach her a lesson so vienna was over here messing with another dog and that's why she's in trouble right now i also took down i broke down the kennels that were over there those are right there. I still have to take them to the to the barn. But Oh, so somebody's getting in trouble. Mona's on somebody. There's a lot of dominating going on out here, but that's to be expected with this much space now. We got a whole bunch of space now. Mm. Oh, she got taken down. The takedown. I got to get rid of these thingies here. I actually have a chainsaw to be able to do it with, but I don't know how to use the chainsaw. I've used a small chainsaw, but I am. This is like a nicer chainsaw, and I'm a little worried about using it. I want some help. What are you chewing on? Put it down. I <clears throat> Let me see. What do you got? Get out of my face. Idra, put it down. Idra, go away. Yesterday, Idra, put it down. Yesterday she had a piece of plastic. Idra, Idra, come here. Idra, damn it, sure to eat it. Son of a gun. Yep, she did. Bad dog. <sighs> Yeah, there's um, been unfortunately just little scraps of trash out here, and Corso are apparently trash masters. They find it, 
and then they try to consume it because they've never heard of a trash can. Ah, but it is what it is, I guess. Y'all gotta tell me what you think about this video quality. This is a new Pixel phone um, that I just got. I like, not exactly sure how I feel about it yet, but it is what it is. So that's Jolene getting in trouble right now, which actually, um, she probably deserves. Oh, Nirvana's getting on to Habibi. He's got an appointment, I think tomorrow at the vet office. Mm -mm. Oh, there's Jolene again getting it. In grief, they're oh, velocity. So basically, Jolene is the one getting in trouble, and Freya beating up on her. And then we've got Bella Rose getting beat up by Vienna, and Vienna is getting beat up by Ibiza. Um. Jeez a wheeze, man, these dogs. But I do have my own dog park. I love it. Like the Corso dog park. Hey, get off me. Watch out. So Vienna just keeps... Ooh, look at that. Vienna kept messing with Bella Rose... But she kept getting targeted by the other dogs for being a bully, basically. And so now Vienna is getting beat up by Carrie and Ibiza. And she ran off, I guess, to drink some water. Saffron, are you done with it, my lady? She's like, I don't want no part of it. Ah, uh -uh, Smurf, no digging. Y'all, look how big Idra is. Look, well, all right, let's not look. We'll give her a moment. But she is looking very pregnant. So when I first, um, the, the way that I got Idra was that there was a breeder that had her and decided he didn't want to be a breeder. And so I whelped her litter and, um, and, and, uh, and then I got to keep her as payment for whelping the litter. And then I ended up buying one of her daughters, which is Freya, right here. Freya! Sweet baby, yeah. She big old girl, man. Big old girl. So, um, Idra's looking bigger than she was. She, like, she looks bigger than, I mean, I will say I didn't get her in the best shape. She was sick. Um, and I had to nurse her back to health. But, dang, trying to poop again? Jane. Um, but anyway, um, super fantastic, um, and I'm very excited. Like, these are going to be top-notch dogs, you guys. Like, the best that I can produce, it's going to be that level. Um, you, you should have seen Freya at only three weeks old. I mean, they were the biggest puppies, I guess the closest to that... And I don't even think they were that big, but the closest to that would be um, would be uh, my last Grim litter with uh, Zalatin in them. They're huge dogs. So, yeah, if you're looking for a really big, super high quality Corso, that's the litter to get on. And it's already filling up pretty fast. I've only got a couple spots left. Psh, why are y'all eating the bark from the trees? Hey, no. You guys are unbelievably... No, Jolene. Unbelievably destructive. Psst. And then literally chew the dang trees down, make the dang things fall on the house. And believe me, don't put it past these. Ah! Stop it. No. Psst. Somebody getting in trouble over there? Let me look. I hear it. Let's see. Who is it? So we got Remy playing with her son, Habibi which is sweet and wholesome. 
You can see how huge he is compared to her. Almost as tall as she is. I guess we're good. Hey, hey, hey! First of all, no digging. No. I guarantee you that if I made them like a sand pit to dig in, they wouldn't even dig in it. They'd probably poop in it and dig somewhere else. These dang dogs, they don't make no sense. Hey, what you got now? What do you got? What were you tearing up? Piece of fabric. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what, I don't ever miss nothing. Hey, watch out now, don't run into me. I might as well get this before somebody else does. Move, watch out. Piece of glass. That's just what we need. I'm putting it over there because that's my that's my pile of things I need to, to do. It's my work pile. My weight loss pile. <laughs> you know the craziest thing is that even though I look significantly thinner, I the scale is not moving. And that's kind of concerning because in general I weigh a lot. I'm, uh, I always weigh a ton more than people that are even significantly larger than me. Like I did this weight loss thing one time in my neighborhood when I lived back in the Burbs. It was like a whole bunch of like, you know, suburban moms and we had our little weight loss group. And I'm telling you like, and I ain't hating on nobody cause I'm not one to hate, you know what I'm saying? I'm big too. But these girls were like round, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they had no shape, they were just round. And I had shape. I was overweight, but I had shape. And I weighed significantly more than them. <laughs> and I was significantly smaller than them. And they were shocked. <laughs> and I was shocked and I was very mad. But it is what it is. Um, so anyway, I don't know. It's strange. Hey, hey, what I say about digging, kimchi? Kimmy. Kimmy, kimchi. What did you do, kimchi? Did you kimchi? What did you kimmy? Did you sweet baby? The sweet baby, Mona. You didn't have my babies. I wanted more Batista babies out of her, but see, and this is a good point too that I'll tell you. So a lot of people say, "Oh, you should, you shouldn't breed them back to back." Blah 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 blah, which <laughs> is completely not scientific. But, um, you know, like, you, they'll take their own breaks. If they need a break, they'll take a break. Like, I bred her to Batista, made sure of it, three days in a row, everything copacetic seemed perfectly fine. She's not, she's not pregnant. And I know that it's not Batista because I bred Idra to him afterwards. Let's see what she's over here chewing on. Move. And, um, and he got her pregnant. So it can't be... What are you chewing on? What do you got? Yep, plastic. I don't know how she found it, but she found plastic. Jeez, man. Where did you even find that at? Jesus. Um, only good thing about these dogs, seeing as how they're garbage disposals, walking garbage disposals, is that um, they are so big that I haven't had a lot of issues with it, but it still is um, not good. Move, get, and quit digging. Look at that, move. See, that's a wrapper, it's not nothing like she would be eating. Look at them, trying to kill the roots. They're like, we will either chew the tree down, or if we can't chew it down, then we shall dig it up and chew the roots. One way or the other, we will destroy this tree. Hey, quit. I'm gonna have to put those dang metal things around. Look at weird dogs, man. Why are you destroying the tree? The tree didn't do nothing to you. And the roots. Good grief. I'm telling you what, man. If you don't realize how destructive these dogs can be, you can't keep them in a backyard, that's for dang sure. You won't have a yard. And if, and if they're not in a cage and they have access to the house, you won't have a house. <sighs> anyway, I got a big surprise for y'all. You're not going to believe it. Some of y'all are going to be mad, but this is what I'll say. Those that care don't matter. So, 
because we all live our lives but i'm about to i'm about to do something that i thought i would never do um but it is what it is so uh, i'm about to leave and uh, oh <clears throat> really because you ran into me with that Anyway, I gotta take these dogs in before they before I don't have no trees left. So uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.